Good morning, students. Today, I will discuss about the chapter electricity. Now, electricity chapter here you can see the chapter electricity or the topic electricity. Now, here, what is electricity? First, I am going to define you. Electricity means flow of electrons through wire or through circuit. As you know, electric current and electric circuit means there are conductors and insulators. Without conductors and insulators, we cannot discuss about electricity. So, what are conductors? The question arises, what are conductors? Conductors means iron, aluminium, and silver these are the examples so through these examples we can understand conductors actually conductors are metals in metals there are free electrons and with these free free electrons we can see that free electrons move very fast so whenever electricity is there fast moving electrons are also there. On the other hand, we have insulators also. Insulator means from which electricity cannot pass. For example, wood, glass, plastic, these are the things from where electricity doesn't pass. Because there are no free electrons. Now electrons, we should know the charge. Charge of electrons minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Coulomb is the unit. So that's why electrons is equal to minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. And protons also, we are talking about electrons and protons because in this universe Matters are there. Without electrons and protons, matters, we cannot think about matters. So when matter comes, we as far as solid, liquid and gas, these electrons and protons take a vital load. Now proton has a plus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and of course Neutrons, they are neutral, they don't have any charge. So, when electricity is there, we should think about conductors. So, conductors, we can say good conductors. There are bad conductors. Bad conductors are also known as insulators. Now, when we have to find out I, I that is current here, in the formula is given here. I is equal to Q by T, where I is current, an ampere, we can say the unit ampere, Q is the charge, coulomb, and T is the time. So, electricity is such a thing which gives our universe too much light, and without light, our world will be in dark. So, we should first think the proper use of electricity. I am saying the proper use of electricity. It should be proper use. Negative use, that means if you don't know the electricity in a pure manner, sometimes it creates harm also. Such as, sometimes you get shock with that electricity. It is sometimes fatal also, life risk also. So that is why we should think, students should think you are the student and you have to think about electricity that whatever the electricity is uh, giving us in a positive sense that in this universe all things are running whether the, whether the factories, whether the mobile phones, whether the any electrical device, generator, generators and uh, you can see the motors, so all are running through this electricity. Without electricity, 
uh, the development will not be possible. So I am talking about in conductors and insulators, I think you should know. Iron, copper, silver are the examples of uh, conductor and wood, plastic, glass is the example of insulator. Now, if you have to find out I, I that is current, if you have to find it out, the formula is I is equal to Q by T where Q is charge and T is the time. So with this formula we can find out current. Now, the second point, electric potential and potential difference. So what is electric potential? We are saying potential. When we say potential, potential means the power. If you have power, you can do anything more in a uh, big way. That means in a, in, a, in, a, in a sense of positive way. So electric potential and potential difference. There is difference whether somewhere high, somewhere low. From high to low, suppose a water pipe is there from where water is passing. So where the water is more and, and where the water is less, so more water will go through the pipes and running towards the downside. So as we know, water flowing from higher level to lower level, we can see the force of water force that is known as water force or water current we can say. So water current and here also we can say electrical current. So there is a slight difference but they are nearly the same. You see the difference. So electric potential is also there and potential difference is also there. Potential difference you can see this cell is here. Minus terminal here and this is the positive terminal. Now from negative to positive and terminals are there so here in the cell there is a chemical action and with those chemical action there is a push of electrons through the wires so potential difference it is defined as the work done in carrying a unit charge from one point to another point in an electric circuit as we know here, V is this is the formula, V is equal to W by Q, where V is the potential difference and W is the work, Q is the net charge. So if you have to find out V, that is potential difference, the formula is V is equal to W by Q. So with this formula we can find out potential difference. Again, circuit diagram. If you know this circuit, if you see this circuit, in circuit, what are the things, what are the components? The components are, here we can see, bulb, key, battery, and here ammeter. So, arrow mark is also given here, you can see. So, this key, that is closed circuit. We can say closed circuit. When key is open, that means... Uh, the another way we can see this type, you can see here also. So this is also a type of key where we can see that this key is there. If it, it, it touches here, the current passes. So now here this is closed key and here we can see open key. So when closed key is there, bulb will glow. When we on the switch, bulb will glow. The battery is there. Naturally the battery is over here and the chemical reaction. In the battery the chemical reaction is there. With those chemical reactions, electrons will flow and the bulb will glow. Now one thing I want to clear you is friends, that how the bulb glows. The glowing of bulb has a certain phenomena and the phenomena is that we see tungsten, tungsten wire that is known as filament and that filament is carved or in a spiral way. So in that spiral way we can see the electrons are passing through the wire 
though we cannot see, but we assume, we think it happens. Actually, it happens. Electrons are moving. So, this is a zigzag motion. And when zigzag motion is there, it is heated more. When electrons are passing in that zigzag motion, more heating will be there. And if more heating will be there, burn will be there. And suppose the tungsten wire is straight, then it will not glow because it doesn't give any resistance. When resistance will be there, bulb will heat up and bulb will glow. So actually with this circuit, you should know that how bulb glows. So actually these are the components, you students, you should remind all these things that bulb is there, key is there, battery is there and of course wire is there. So all these components make uh, uh, electric circuit and with this circuit diagram I think you will be able to understand the passing of electrons in a circuit and this is all about electricity. So students, it is a vital time to that you are keeping yourself safe in your home because this is a pandemic situation corona disease everywhere in the world so i think you should keep yourself safe in the rooms and study try to study in this manner what i am giving you or the other message other type of sources are also there so thank you students Next time, I will discuss something more. Thank you.